Today, I will be showing you how to do a two-tone split effect with your text. So let's head over to Canva and I'll show you how to create one. So the first thing I want to do is go get me some text. All right, so we're going to do a letter. I'm going to do W. I am going to change it to something thick and chunky. Uh, I'm using chunk five for this. And you're going to make it whatever color you want it to be. So um, I'm just going to do black and white for now, just doing simple. So I have this, then I'm going to give me another text box and whatever words you want to be laced in there. So I'm going to put that down here and I'm going to pretend like this is a school thing. So I'm going to do a logo for warriors. And what you're going to do is put that text in here. You can, I'm going to change the font, so the color so I can see it. I'm going to change it to a purple. That way I can see where I want it positioned at in here. And don't forget, you can always go in here if you need to go and change your letter spacing. Oh, that's line, sorry. Your letter spacing out if you want to do it in or out like so. And then where you want to put your words. So I want to take that space in and bring it back in like that. Um, Let's put it here. And then when I've got it where I want it, what I'm going to do is change that text back to white. And then I'm going to go into File, Download, PNG, and I download that file. Then I'm going to create another page. Um, I don't know if y'all are having the same problem, but I can't drag stuff back in here. I have to go into my uploads to bring stuff in. That's I don't like that. I don't know why all of a sudden that's doing that, but that's how we have to do it now, I guess. It just sucks. So, and now that it's uploaded back in, what I'm going to do before anything is I'm going to take it and size it back to my design space. It's going to make it way easier. I'm going to go and remove the background. Now, if you're a free user, you can go to remove BG and do the same process. So, and then I'm going to bring these in like so. And then if you notice, if I go here, it removed, let's put a blue behind it. See, it removed the white part. I want the white part still in there. So what I need to do now is I need to go back into my design, go back into the background mover. Now, if you're in remove BG, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to restore the white back on the interior of these letters. So I'm going to push the restore button. And then I want to keep my brush size the same for right now because I might be able just to do it easy peasy. Let's see. I'm not very good at this, so if it's sloppy, I am sorry, y'all. It's not my strong suit is this remove stuff. I've gotten sport with remove BG with the free stuff. and But this would even be hard with remove BG, but I think it. This is not the, not the easiest part. And you just want to restore it back in the interior of the letter. So like this part is easy because that's all interior, but this little edge piece. Woohoo. All right. And then you get your white back into the interior of your letter. Like so. And if you got any sloppy, see how I'm sloppy right there? You can get the erase. Let's cut that down to a little teeny thing and kind of bring that back and to try to get that white out of there right there. Okay, and once you got it where you like it and you think it looks good, what you're going to do is get out of there. And then as you can see, I got a little sloppy part there, a little sloppy part there. Um, we're going to go back to our original page. I am going to grab this text. I am going to turn it to a black, which is the color that I want. And then I'm going to control C. I'm going to bring it over to my new design. I am going to control V it. I am going to my positions tab and I'm going to put it behind my big letter like so. You can see how I sloppily did that. Um, like I said, I'm not very good with the background remover. Some people are excellent with it. I'm just not one of those people. But that's how you do it. And then when I put that on the white background like so, you have that. And there you go. You got a two-tone going through. Like I said, it's not 
the be most beautiful one because, like I said, I'm bad at that background remover and some of y'all are excellent. So I'm sure y'all can do way better than me. And that's why I love you guys because a lot of y'all have some awesome talent. And I thank you for guys for stopping by. I hope to see you on the next one. I love you. Bye, y'all.